Ladies and gentlemen, this is Waking Up in the Morning again. Just another version of Waking Up in the Morning. Did you hear what I said? All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is what I want to let you know. I'm going to do you guys a favor, okay? I was going to do y'all a flavor. This is denial of due process jurisdiction. Nah. Uh, different document. Give me a second. We're doing this right here. I can say no way. Oh, you know this song? The When I was a kid, people used to talk about waking up and being happy that you woke up. And somebody had mentioned that it's similar to a resurrection, that you are literally rising from the dead every day. And isn't it nice to be able to wake up in the morning? That's what that song is about, waking up. So I'm hoping that you guys are waking up because guess what? We have 150 different creditors here. This is not all of them. There are more. Whoo, there are more. But the suit is against each of these because these are all Federal Reserve. Sorry, I said wake up. And wake up is the key phrase for it to wake up. And so that's my fault. Okay, that's the last one. Dag nabbit. All right. Did, did he, Mama, did he say dag nabbit? Oh, that's my grandfather used to say dag nabbit. Yep. Uh, what dag stands for, Mama? Uh, don't worry about it. Oh, I'm not supposed to use those type of words. Well, what's wrong with dag? Dag's okay, ain't he? Anyway. So, ladies and gentlemen, here are your 150, 150 corporations with their name, their EIN number, so that you can complete your 1099Cs, okay? And like we said, DataMass has got a program to where they are going to assist you guys in inputting these in the appropriate spot. And you can go to their website, datamass, D-A-T-A-M-A-S-M-A-S dot org, datamass dot org, and you will be able to pull that up. Remember, all of these corporations, give me a second, I got to rechange the titles. Okay, we got corporations along with their EIN numbers and addresses. I like the way they did EIN number. I'm going to get rid of that in, okay? Y'all just y'all just hold on a second cuz that that right there, that's the way that that should have been. We're going to go big, y'all. We going big with we got to get a title. All right? So, EIN, now I can't do EIN numbers the way I want to. Let's do that. Okay? EI numbers, employer identification numbers. I'm going to do it that way because I like it like that. Okay? That's just the way I like it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. What? That's the way I like it. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So let's see. I have to put it in the right folder, so y'all have to excuse me for a second. We got to go all the way down here, and we got fed, federal lawsuit. No, don't do that. Get, get your mouse off of that thing. All right. We're going to put it there, and let's do... Oh, that's right. I did put the Bradley Christopher Stark information here. I said I was going to upload that stuff because, see, those of you, I wish I could have helped you all, those of you who did your arbitrations and you went through all of that and they denied you and everything, you, you should, you should, if it were me, bring a suit against the court, not the judicial officer, the court for acting in complete absence of all jurisdiction. They can't block your access to the United States Arbitration Act. Okay, they must follow the act that's written. The Supreme Court has already decided that. So don't worry about getting a decision from the court. Worry about doing your 1099 fees, documenting the record, and then getting the credits. Trust me, you're going to want those credits. All right. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for joining. Y'all have a good day. Remember the addresses and EIN numbers. 
are in the same location. I'll be loading it up by the time this video is up. So you want to take care of those, what do you call it, links that are on the last two videos, this and the previous one. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go.